you very much for giving us the opportunity to have a presentation today here. My name is Rog Mezar and I am CEO of the company Red Pitaya. So basically Red Pitaya is a Slovenian based company. We have a headquarter in Slovenia, Ljubljana. And I will just explain a, a very, in a very few words where the idea came from. So basically we have been working on a particle accelerators market for many years, building very complex solutions for particle accelerators. So for example, making synchronization systems that were capable of synchronizing clocks at 300 meters in femtoseconds, then making data acquisition systems and so on. And for doing this, we were using, let's say, very expensive instruments like oscilloscopes, spectrum analyzers, logic analyzers, and so far, which were, and we were many times limited because they were not open source at all. So basically for each application, or if we wanted to make our own application, which, we, which will, uh, let's say, save us a lot of time and money at the end of the day, we had to buy another instrument. So since we had around 100 developers, developers in that company, we faced a problem that we bought the spectrum analyzer and then all the rest of, of developers, they were looking where it is, this spectrum analyzer. As all the, the ideas also, all good ideas, also this one came from a very simple thought. A thought how to make a very small, let's say portable instrument that will be capable to interface with LabVIEW, MATLAB, and to be at the same time open source, to have the possibility to control it remotely, so it has a web interface that would be very affordable, and at the end of the day that would be having a big community of members. So what we did, basically we were working, working on the Red Pitaya concept for a very long time. We have been brainstorming the idea with many folks, like students, researchers, and other people. And based on all the inputs we got, we decided to build an ecosystem around an FPGA board, which is here on this picture, and I have it also here. So it's a very small one, so it replaces most of the instruments, and I will tell you. So on the, on the right side, we have a repository of source code, of, of the source code, as you can see here. So this is the community we build around the hardware platform and the application marketplace we have on, left, on the left side. So basically the idea was our customers and our community members will take the sources we've built, they will make new applications and they, they will put them into the application marketplace at the end of the day. So other people from community members, they could use it for free. So what it took us to be here today, basically it's a long way, I can tell you. So many sleepless nights and so on, so <laughs> many headaches and so on. So basically the first thing you need to have is uh, the idea. So many people think that when you have the idea, everything is done, but it's far from that. So idea is just a small puzzle in a very big picture. It's very important as well. but. Then you, when you have the idea and you believe in it, you have to build a company which should have a leadership, which is a very important role. So especially in hard times, you know, when you don't have money, you have to tell people, okay, we will succeed one day, and then everything will be repaid. Then you need a very good team, because from my point of view, you can have an A idea with B team, and it's much worse than having a B team, uh, an A team with B idea, because I think People make the story, not the idea itself. Okay, I'm, I think here many startups have a lot of challenges. Because first of all, you don't have money, you don't have resources, so you need to, to get people on board which really believe in the story. And it's a hard challenge. And the second thing, which is even harder, is basically that many startups are built, you know, from engineers, especially high-tech startups. There are two or three people which come from the same segment, basically, I don't know, hardware engineers, but for making a final product, you don't need just hardware engineers. You need software engineers, you need marketing, you need sales channels, you need supply chain, you need everything else around, and everything should be from the best, you know, the best people, make, made from the best people, because otherwise it doesn't work. Then with the hardware startups, when you have the idea, the leadership, then you have the team, but you need a lot of working capital, because when you come to the factory, to the manufacturer, and you say, okay, we have a great idea, we have a great team, and we will build the best, let's say, instrument in the world. Okay, you have money for production. Yeah, well, not 
<laughs> we don't have it, we are a startup. Okay, we don't believe that you will be selling. But what to do? So we, since you have, I don't know, some components with lead, lead times longer than 16 weeks, so you have to buy them somehow. I will tell you how we manage that. And then at the end of the day, when you have products on your bench, you don't know how to sell them. So we need a lot of money or a lot of time to make people believe in your story again and make marketing for you. Because otherwise you have only products on your bench and you don't get money back. So these are all the, not all the challenges, a few challenges that we, let's say, faced, but these were the most, let's say, significant ones. So how to overcome the challenges? So we did it in this way. So we did a, we did a crowdfunding, we did a Kickstarter in 2014, where we got around 250,000 euros, which enabled us to make the production run. So from then on, we had much more traction, and we, it was a very successful campaign, where we, we were, let's say, uh, got contacts with many people around the globe from marketing, sales, and so on. So it was much easier after the campaign, since, well, it's, since I, as I said, it was very successful. So, so I would say to everybody that has problems with money to start the crowdfunding, because it's the easiest way to get it. Otherwise, I don't know, going to the bank, again, no one believes you. So it's, it's hard to get it. And then the second thing I, will, I would like to mention is also building partnership. And this is a very challenging one, I would say, but if you do it, you have a lot of chances. But building partnerships with big companies which have market already, and they can help you, I don't know, to drop the price, to make some, let's say, differentiation on the market. This is, again, a very important factor. So we did a lot of partnerships so far, and I will just mention a few of them, because they won't fit in one slide. So basically, I would say analog devices is one of very important par partners. They are, they are providing us uh, components, most of the components for this board, as well as like, Xilinx. I would like to, let's say, say that basically a few weeks ago, we were put it on the list of the best partners of Xilinx on the, on, the, on the university, so, so board's partner list. So there are just 10 partners, I think. We did a deal with Mauser, RS as well, so they are big distributors, so they are helping us to, to sell the product. And at the end of the day, Elector is also very important because they understand the product we, ma we made. So you, you need to get right partners. It's not, okay, we'll be making marketing because you can basically spend huge amounts of money, but at the end of the day, it's only money spent and we'll, we'll get no return. So here, let's say Elector, they are making a very nice content, especially for high-tech products because they understand it. So that's, that is the difference from, let's say, other distributors and resellers. I was talking just of bad things, let's say, since now, but they are not just bad things. So I can tell you that it's all worth it. Because at the end of the day, today we have two product categories only after two years since we launched the product. So one is StemLab, so we just recently renamed it from RedPitai to StemLab. So STEM means, as you know, science, technology, engineering, and maths. So we are focusing with this product, especially at, at universities, startups, and do-it-yourself people. So we've built a community of more than 20,000 people already. So we are launching in short next week the HamLab, which is targeting the radio operators. And with all, all these products, we have the same philosophy in mind, giving a lot of potential and a lot of possibilities to change, make your products within uh, and make a community. So that's our vision. The product I'm talking about, StemLab, is compatible also with LabVIEW and, and MATLAB, which gives you the opportunity, let's say, to collect the data from the device and, uh, and uh, make some, I don't know, calculations or whatever you want in these programs. As well as, I would like to mention here that we have very strong partnership with, with a few companies like NASA, so we are collaborating with them from one year, so Bosch, Infino, JPL. What is Red Pitaya Vision? So our vision is to build a huge community of passionate, of people passionate about engineering, not only electronics. So today we see this picture. I hope tomorrow we will see that one. So thank you very much for your attention. If you have any kind of question, just don't hesitate to, hesitate to ask. Thanks. Just to add to this, uh, the people of Repitai are over there with the stand at the booth, so you can uh, ask them questions uh, all day long, and also tomorrow, and uh, after tomorrow, because they have a website, sure. and email, yeah. and Twitter.
Everything. Facebook, yeah. Snapchat, <laughs> everything, yeah. like the red pitaya. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You too. Okay, now it is lunchtime. <laughs>